It's a brand new Monday. Amba kulisayo mwena mu weekend. Una kuruwa alero. Sijia kuruisayo. Njaga lang kutuwa levu televu ku interview omukuru uh, Bobby Wine. Omukuru emwezo wechibi na chanu nubu. Jiyayo gede ku BBC. Obede ngo jie uli ilako. Na weke kenyini wede mu. Na ye elimu luzungu. Nsoko kula vula. So wabanga toma yi luzungu. Uh, Binzo kubevi zivu vyo. Na yenga elimu luzungu. Did you get a permit to carry out this protest? Do you have that? Well, according to our law, we don't need permission or a permit. We are given that permission by the constitution, which permits us to protest and demonstrate non-violently and unarmed. And that is exactly what we called for. We are very glad I, I, that the Bobby protest, Wine, I've, I've our never heard of a country own. where there are no protocols around how to carry protests. When you protest, there's disruption of a traffic nature. Are you, are you telling me that in Uganda you do not have to alert the authorities before you carry out a protest? A person in Uganda does not need permission to protest against injustice, especially when they are protesting in a way that is non-violent, a way that is peaceful, and a way that does not violate or obstruct anybody's business. Why not have this protest next week when the Kampala business uh, team doesn't have to deal with uh, a conference or conferences that shut down the roads and also protests? As a matter of fact, it is the protest that we are, it is the conference that we are aiming at. The non-allied movement has a soul, it has intentions for which it was established, among which was to fight for the oppressed people of the global south. It got involved actively in the fight against apartheid. We want to send a strong message to all members of the non-allied movement and to remind them that the non-allied movement is losing its soul. You know, the non-allied movement is supposed to work for the people of the countries that relate to them. It is supposed to be the values that they stand for. Mm -hmm. But right now, it is more of a curse and an inconvenience to the people of Uganda. Why not attend the non-allied movement summit and table your grievances there peacefully as opposed to calling for a protest whose outcome you may not be able to dictate? I would very much love to be given opportunity to make a case before the non-allied movement. But I will also inform you that two of our members of parliament were kicked out of the conference just uh, a few days ago uh, by the military. Well, in response, Uganda spokesperson Ofono Opondo told the BBC, and I quote, a few vocal opposition politicians had planned and indeed announced protests to block roads in Kampala as a way to express their dissatisfaction with government over a myriad of issues related to governance, some which they tabled in parliament and in our view were satisfactorily responded to. Therefore, this antique is simply a publicity stunt to disrupt the ongoing NAM and G77 meetings which constitutes breaches of public order and peace bordering on criminality.